first in the jump off in Amsterdam for the Longin FEI Jumping World Cup qualifier. Jerome Dewardham with Oak Grove's Carlisle. It's the first fence on the first round. Now the last two parts After that Oxer, the last two parts of the combination comes it nice and tight to the Longine clock. Round to 11 and now a long gallop down to the upright at the last. And that's clear. 40.12. Jerome Dubedam goes clear here in, in Amsterdam. Jerome Dubedam clear with Oak Grove's Carlisle. 40.12. Peter Clements riding Jostland 6, Quintini. Third in La Caruna. On Quintini. Can he go two better here in Amsterdam? That looked very fast across the centre of the arena. Lands over the Longin Oxer at 19 seconds. Skips through that double. This is looking very quick indeed for Peter Clemens for Belgium. Tight turn into 11. Now down to the last. Absolutely flies it. Stops the clock in an impressive 35.18. Taken nearly five seconds off the time of Jerome Dubalum. What an incredible round for Peter Clements. Harry Smolders for the Netherlands with Monaco. Peter Clements already nudged out a Dutch rider in Jerome Dubalum. Three opportunities for the Netherlands to get back in the number one spot. This is the first of them. Harry Smolders, Monaco. Needs to be landing on about 19 seconds. It's looking very, very close indeed. Two hundredths of a second, two tenths of a second, I should say, in it at the moment. 35.18. He's just half a second down on the clock. He's going to gallop at the last. He absolutely hurdles it. 35.03, we have a new leader. That's Harry Smolders goes in to the lead. Well, it is not over yet. 35.03, Harry Smolders and Monaco go into the lead here in Amsterdam. Now for Germany, former world number one, winner of three. Longin FEI World Cup Finals, Marcus Enning with Kalanda. He won the leg in Madrid with Preta 2. Right, this turn is absolutely critical. I would say level pegging at the moment with Harry Smolders. This is going to be very close indeed. 0.16 of a second in it. Galloping down to the last. It's going to be very, very close. What's going to happen? He doesn't quite make it. 35.95 into third place. This is building up to be an absolutely storming final here in Amsterdam. Marcus Enning into third with Kalanda. 35.95. 0.03. Time to beat. Set by Harry Smolders. Michael van der Vloot. Bovel Z. Just a ten-year-old. I think he hit the flag on top of the wing. Oh, this is some machine. Just faltered there, but it looks like he's... Again, this is going to be very, very tight indeed. And look at that turn round the Longine clock. He skips through the double. A second. He's got to make up. He comes down to the last. He's not going to make the winning time, but it's going to be very close in 36.46. Michael van der Vloot goes into fourth place with Beauville Z. 36.46. For Great Britain, 
winners from the leg in Helsinki. Robert Whittaker with Claire Whittaker and Mandy Hall's Catwalk the Fourth. Now he's put his foot down. This turn. Landed there in about 19 seconds. There's nothing to split these horses. Oh no. You could just see him just hanging out to the right. Well, that was not to be for Robert Whitaker and Catwalk here. They did win that second leg in Helsinki, and they will be in the top nine here in Amsterdam. And Robert Whitaker, who needs points to get a ticket to the final, he'll be picking up some very, very valuable points today. So, with the four faults for Robert Whitaker and Catwalk the fourth, Daniel Doyser, Jasmine Vili Bishop, time to beat 35. Point zero three. That was a super turnover, 4B. Oh, it's gone. He was up on the clock as well, Doyce. Very quick time, but he had the four faults. And that will put him into sixth place. Sixth place goes Daniel Doyser with Jasmine Avidi Bishop in league. So Doyser will be back in Las Vegas to try to win a second Longin FEI World Cup final. Market Saga for the Netherlands. Sterohovs Dante. Welcome to the Olympic team silver medalist from London do here in front of his home crowd. Rattles the first. Turning in the air. This is looking quick. Oh, oh, that was an incredible turn from Herzaga. Just up on the clock. He's going to get him down to the last. He's going to have to go. 35.03. He touches down. He's surely quicker. 34.05. He takes nearly a second off the time set by fellow compatriot Harry Smulders. Mark Katsaga goes into the lead here. For Belgium, Niels Brunsiels with Gansia de la Mousse. Revs up to the first. Jumps at the perfect angle to get the turn down to what was the first fence in the first round. Gallops at it. Oh, oh skids on the turn. There's nothing in it. He's still clear. Let's look at the split time. He's half a second down. He's now going to have to really get at the last. Can Niels Brunsiels get that time? He stops the clock. It's 35.33.